7 50 a.m decided to wake up early for once let's go i have been struggling so much to wake up like on time it's really bad what are we even working on we're not designing anything we're not researching anything why are we not designing anything or research anything we should we should be doing things we've only done the chassis let's do some front wing and sure I've yet to discover if this is bad because everything every number normally just goes up so I normally just focus on everything we'll do four and a million dollars we got that I think at this point we're, we're focusing on next year's car but let's actually get a few things going if we can everything's going down by 10% so we need to so am I planning on keeping Mick or replacing so here's the thing I was a million percent committed to getting rid of Mick like to a T, I was so prepared. Then we go back to back double points finishes in which in one of them, Mick ended up getting like P8 and Kevin got P10 or something like that. And so I was really like unsure if maybe I should just be keeping him. Uh, previous race results. Yeah, then you have here where he just, you know, does nothing, gets 15. We really struggled around Zanbord to be fair. Um, what was before that? Spa. Spa was not a good day for us. Or was it? I can't remember. Yeah, Spa was not a good day for us. 11 and 13. And so it's like, we have like pretty solid results. Here's the P5, P8. This was a big one. This was a big one for us. P5, P8. Huge. Um, yeah, here's the other one. Make it P8. Kevin gets P10. And so he has a really high potential, but it's like, he just makes so many mistakes. Regardless, let's go ahead and, uh, <clears throat> new front wing. Done. That means we should have... Yeah, we have three in the warehouse now. That's perfect. Continue on. Race prep. Monza, huh? I don't know if we were... I don't know if our car is really, like, set up for Monza. I'm pretty sure all of our parts are, like, designed for... Well, I mean, to be fair, every one we have is, like, better than the, uh... The last, so... I don't think there's going to be a situation in which we're going to see something here that's like, oh, you're going to be so much faster. I'll check it just in case. Just because Monza is an entirely different beast. We do have some new underfloors, so that's very cool. Bringing those to Monza. We love that. Suspension. We're good. How's everybody's engines looking? I'm actually going to throw in... I want to throw in a... I want to throw in an old engine onto both cars for practice sessions and try and start to manage things a little more like this. Same with ERS. Especially because the one on there is only a 57, so we'll, we'll throw on some old stuff and see uh, if we can get away with it. 35, 35, sure, throw it on. I mean, it doesn't need to be a lot, it just needs to get us by through practice and then we'll flip flop it. Probably right before practice three. Basically, we're trying to hold off on taking engine or component penalties as long as possible. So Monza. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I need to go back and find that and kind of look into it a little more. I, I think it'll be really interesting. But, uh... Oh yeah, baby, let's ruin Botas's lap. Let's go, perfect timing. Oh, hop on board with Mick. It was the classic, like, Pit for enters, immediately win race, or not pit for enters, struggle severely, and lose race. Which is, you know, frustrating to some, I'm sure. I'm sure no one is more frustrated about that than him at this point, but... Yeah, I could see Lando getting up there, and probably not this year with the car they have. It was a meme, uh, Stroll's engineer saying, are you final on Saturday? He says, yes, then proceed to spin, Stroll's engineer. <laughs> I think I've seen in that clip. We're like, are you okay on this tire? He yells, yes. Basically, like, trying to be like, get off my back. But then immediately spins. Yeah, I think I've seen that clip. Which is hilarious. Mick goes faster than Botas, mainly because Kevin ruined Valtteri's lap severely. Here's Kevin on his flyer. Oh, thank God. The, thank God Mick got out of the way. Yeah, I've, I've talked about this before. But I think that my favorite part, especially for me... Okay, yeah, absolutely. I will hold this story until you get back. It is the morning. I can't expect, you know, can't expect you to be here forever. But, uh... I guess we can talk about what's actually going on. 
came back here going fast. Sonoda going to 123. Wow. Came hey, at clearing Mick by a second and a half. Did Mick get uh, caught up, me thinks? Oh, hopping on board, Mick. All right, Mick. It's do or die. All right, first let's take it. Okay, Mick is literally in P18. Norris probably goes faster, but he's above us, so it doesn't matter. Perez is definitely going faster. We just need to be, if we can beat both Aston Martins and Daniel Ricciardo, both is also going to go faster. Ooh. We're going to have to go a lot faster. That's... That's kind of the sentiment here, is Mick is going to have to go a lot faster. That is a long opening straight. Into the chicane. The water, just good. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Cover that. Need to make sure Kevin's gonna make it. Is Kevin gonna make it? No push. Cover that. Oh, Kevin just makes it. Just makes it. Oh my! I forgot to switch the components back. L. Shit. These things are super worn. Oh God. You know what you don't need? A super worn gearbox in Monza. Oh God. If we switch them back, is that penalty? It might be. That's why we're going so slow. Make us quite a bit faster. It's because all of our stuff is super worn. Oh God. Oh God. I've made a mistake. Mistakes were made. That's why we're so far off the pace. All of our stuff is super worn. Oh God. There it goes green green. And Mick's already out. Albon goes fastest, or faster. And Kevin's out too. Oh god, all right, we're switching them back. We're switching all the components back because we're already starting in the, oh god. Oh, I'm so dumb, I forgot. Car parts, adjustment locks. God, even our like last gearboxes. All right, looks like we can switch them for free, which is nice. Uh, car parts. We're gonna immediately get like a huge bump in pace and I'm gonna be so upset the fact that I forgot to do this before quality. I'm just trying to be smart and I'm trying to save wear on our good stuff to avoid penalties as long as possible. And I wait so long. <sighs> Mediums to softs. That's interesting. Or do we like the softs to mediums? Let's see. What if we go... Or, no, sorry. What if we go hards to softs and we can go light? I mean, shit, we can go... 30 something on laps? I mean, we're already starting at the back. We can try and just go full pace. I mean, technically, we go. It says that we go that much faster. What if we go reverse for? What if, we do, what if we just do the same for Kevin? Thoughts? What if we just do the same for Kevin? Start hards, finish softs. Oh my God! Oh right. <laughs> go lap thirty-nine. Just go big push, push, and then finish on the softs. Save twenty-five seconds. No rain track grip will be fantastic. Red track rubber will be fantastic at the end. Let's do it. Let's get crazy because we're already starting 14th and 18th. Like, ah. Oh, right. Because one of them, either Mick or Kevin's stuff is new. Which we knew that. It's bright and sunny. We, we knew that. We're fine with that. It was going to happen eventually. And like I said, we're already at the back. I assumed it would tell you about the penalty in the beginning. Here we go. The Italian Grand Prix is lights out. And away we go. Free to push, free to push. Nick is in last. Okay, next fight for 14th. We love that. Oh, let's go, Mick. Is that a new race position for Haas? Hey, Mac, up into P14. Nice, got some space. Yellow flags, yellow flags. They've gone wide. So, runs wide. 
doesn't look like he lost that much time, so L. Oh, came back, back down to neutral. At this point now, we're just kind of... We push and create that gap behind to Latifi. He will be out of DRS at the start of the next lap. Mick is well off the pace for reasons. I mean, probably because we're on the hard tire. Yeah, we're the only ones on the hard tire. But this is fine. We're playing our game. We're not playing anyone else's. So Mick is entirely just going to be in set it and forget it mode. We are making up positions both times with strategy. But importantly, though, Kevin was able to break the toe behind to Nicholas Latifi. And so with DRS getting enabled this lap, DRS enabled. speak of the devil. Big harvest here. Big harvest. Oh, yeah, baby. Now Kevin's got so much ERS to use, it hurts. Now we wait and see what happens. ERS opens up. You know, I, oh. Did we turn it on? I think we do. Turn on the overtake mode, baby. Let's go. I can't get the move done. Oh, around the outside. Overtake is available if you need it. Copy. Oh, Kevin, we can't be backing out like that. Kevin, we can't be backing out like that. Pass with an overtake there. You have to stay within DRS here. Joe is right behind us. I'm totally fine running deploy on this way because we're going to get so much back. Harvesting down this straight. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Sparks are flying. We push, we push. No lifting coast required. Oh, Kevin wanted to send it up the inside there. Leave it on deploy. That's fine. Send one up there, Kev. Oh, let's go, Kev. Make the move. Nice. Stick it. Nice. Nice. We saw it. We're fine. How's Mick doing? Mick, we got to get this move done. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got a boy. Hop back on board with Kev here. Falling around at Williams, huh? Not something you see every day. Is that a new race position for Haas? Ooh, that animation. <laughs> oh, if we can break the uh, if we can break the DRS from behind, that would be lit. Probably not going to happen, but one can hope. I'm actually deploy down the straight, see if we can break it, keep it broken. Because if we can get Danny Rick to fall off here, that'd be huge. Awesome. Get a nice big old, oh, right on the inside, double. On the outside. Nah. A little too far away. A little too far away to make the move stick. All right, Kev. We don't need to be like, we don't need to be like falling off like that. Just gained by Williams. Oh, did someone run wide there? Perez. Perez running wide. Ooh, Danny Rick's already back, baby. Wow. I'll say that's fine. As long as we stay within DRS, we are chilling. Oh, that is such a huge harvest. Where's Mick at? Where's Mick doing? How's Mick lapping compared to Joe? Lapping a little tenth slower, but right on, all things considered. The soft tire is definitely starting to fall off. I think we'll lower Mick down to standard. Try and save a little bit of tire wear here. The more tire wear we can save now, the better. Oh, let's go, came back. Oh, put two on him. Dude, K-Mag is fearless to send one up the inside there. Absolutely hat. fearless. Oh, let's TP over to Mick. Oh, what a pain. That's fine. Again, we're not worrying about it too much. He's back. Let's go. No, I already forgot what I was going to say earlier, but the start of this race has been absolute fire. We took an engine component penalty for Mick, who started P20, so he's making it up, and K-Mag is on an absolute tear. We have so much fuel. We're trying to save our tires as much as possible because we are on a different strategy to everybody else. k Mag has gone from P, what, 17 or 16 up to P10 on the hard tires, by the way. 
Looks like everyone's gonna try and go long on the mediums. But honestly, K-Mag's got the juice. K-Mag's got the juice on these hard tires right now. Like, not even joking. Yeah, got a crazy start. Also, ERS on Monza is an absolutely wild thing to micromanage because you can get, you can get like 40% back by harvesting into turn one. It's crazy. How's Mick doing? Mick is four seconds off the pack, but that's fine. We are honestly kind of just chilling. Try and save a little bit of extra tires with Mick. We're trying to go long on these hards. We're trying to go long. Alice Malance, we are chilling. Probably getting taken by Sonoda here. That's fine. Look at that. All right, back up to 100%. So much so it brought us down to one, one time speed. Alpha Tower regained the place. It's fine. How far are we behind the leaders? We're not even like a full pick stop away from the leaders yet, which at this point, normally they're so far off in the distance. Right back on your head, Sonoda. Right back on your head. Oh, what you did miss. Here, I'm pretty sure you missed this, was at the start of the race, I realized, so before practice, practices start, I put on a bunch of old powertrain components, PU components, because I didn't want to wear down. We're on our last set for both. So I didn't want to wear them down uh, with the intention of putting them back, switching them back for qualifying, uh, into which I forgot and had to run qualifying on a gearbox with like 20% wear left and a bunch, like an ERS at like 30% and uh, in an engine at like 35%. So that was cool. Out in Q1, very fun. Mick locked up. We're good. And so that was very exciting into which that's why we qualified so badly. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, we re-put in all the good stuff before the race, but unfortunately didn't really help us in qualifying. Didn't even make it out of Q1. So that was fun. Uh, definitely not our day. But K-Bag is absolutely making it up for it here with a fresh set of uh, components back in. So we are kind of just chilling at this point. What does tire situation look like? The softs are really starting to fall off. The mediums, I mean, we're barely better than the mediums. Honestly, Mick at this point, we are on lights where we are. Lando Norris is behind us, hilariously enough. Probably not for much longer, but he is. We are getting dragged along thanks to the DRS of the Alpines. Yes, that's kind of, I should have put a new one in, in, um, in Kevin's. I think Kevin's is an older one. Yeah, Kevin's still, I mean, Kevin's are fine. Um, all of his components are kind of, honestly, they're pretty okay. It was, uh, yeah, it was mixed ERS that, uh, was completely busted. I think this was because he crashed and won and, uh, had to take, a, I had to take a new one. So we're learning. We're, we're living and we're learning. We're living and we're laughing. We're learning. Okay, free to push, free to push. Honestly, if we just want to sit behind the Alpine and kind of just get dragged along, I am okay with that. Softs are at 50%, mediums are about 70%. We are chilling at 76 and 77%. We are by then. You keep forgetting that the higher the percentage, the better, because it's the opposite. Yeah, I know. I, I made the same mistake uh, before, too. It wasn't until uh, the first warning came up where it's like, hey, you only got 39% left. And I went, oh, it's it's opposite. That, I also learned that. And I, I keep forgetting it sometimes. When I keep when I look at it, I keep forgetting. All right, the first round of pit stops look like they are happening. Russell in the pits. Perez in the pits. Deploy down the straight, try and make up some track position here. Big round of pit stops, big round of pit stops. What tire did they go on to? Looks like they're gonna go on to the mediums, probably. Yellow flags, yellow flags. No safety guard, no safety guard. Stroll locked up, uh oh. Leclerc, Leclerc in the pits, Leclerc in the pits. Push, 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 push. Look at that, up into P7, make up into P13. <laughs> that is another thing. I got screwed super hard in my Aston Martin save. We were going around, what was it, Imola? It was either Imola or Miami, where I had Sebastian Vettel in such a fantastic position for points for a safety car. The problem was I was in 12th, 11th was behind the safety car, a lap down. So I, that was basically the that was basically the race at that point where I had no more shot at that point. Yes, that's the other problem. Because of how it works, you have to let you become a backmarker so easily that it becomes impossible. It's so annoying. So not only do, I, do your drivers have such a little chance if whoever's in front of you ends up a lap ahead, but you become a backmarker to everyone else who's behind you. Uh, if they could fix that, I would be so okay with that. I would be so okay with that. How are we lapping compared to Perez? Perez is going eight tenths faster than us, which honestly is kind of okay, mainly just because we know we're not fighting them. We have an Alpine behind us. Has Akon pitted yet? He has not. 
we're probably getting to the point where medium tires are probably going to start pitting soon, yeah. Alonzo pits, which means uh, Akon is probably pitting next lap, if I had to guess. If we can just stay within DR, if we can get DRS off of Akon before going down the main straight, I'm in. Charles Leclerc is lapping a second and a half faster than us. Oh my god, the Ferraris are so fast at this game. Honestly, we literally just need DRS here, Kev. Just get the DRS and we'll be fine. Akon does not pit. Overtake, it's available if you need it. Now you're P15 and 1 minute 45 seconds behind P14. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it gets so easy under safety car like situations that you basically your race is over at that point because you're like a minute and a half to two minutes behind the next car. And it's so annoying. <laughs> Charles Leclerc is within DRS in a lap. Oh god. Not like this, Charles. Please be kind. Oh, especially when that happens. Oh, he locks up! Oh, he locks up! Let's go! Huge lockup from Akon! Looks like there's been a lockup! That's a free position, baby. That's a free position. Now have a watch Look at this. The pressure. Can't handle it. Just a bit too heavy on the brakes, <laughs> and they've locked up. The pressure's too much. You can't handle it. And that was a Honestly, I'm not trying to fight the Ferrari, but if we can hold them off for as long as we possibly can, I'm in. Never mind. We'll just let him go. Honestly, that's probably the smarter play at this point, is just to uh, let him go. If we get DRS off of him, though, that would be big. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. It's fine. We're not fighting the Ferrari. We do get DRS off of Charles Leclerc. Huge. Huge for us. Huge for our endeavors. That was holy. We went from 60% to 100% on neutral, not even harvest. Wow. Yes, if we can if we can stay within the Charles DRS here, that's absolutely massive. Thankfully, a back marker is going to ruin it for us. Who is it? Yuki. Uh just like that. Oh, now he's gonna now Yuki's gonna find us. Oh great. See, that's what we're saying. Backmarkers, baby, backmarkers. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. Yuki, get out of the way. We are trying to, Yuki, do not ruin our race for us, my guy. We're absolutely cracked right now, and you are absolutely dunking on us. Seems to have been a lockup. No locked up. He's down in P18, we don't care. All right, finally, thank God. Oh, oh, we got a little team orders going on with, uh, I can't help but notice that, oh wait, was it a backmarker or was it just Pierre Gasly? It might have just been Pierre. It might not have been a backmarker. It might have just actually just been Pierre. <laughs> I assumed it was a backmarker because he moved out of the way so nicely for the Ferrari, but uh, I think it might have just been Pierre. Now we know. Everybody else's tires doing. Both us, Hamilton, Sainz, and Verstappen all still need to pit. We still need to pit. Russell has pitted already, but he's down to 81% already. So I think this is like, I think this is a two-stop. So we're trying to like make up track position and get into this two-stop action in a one-stop. Yeah, you could be like, what did I do? I don't know. Oh, did my teammate just so happen to be right behind you? Oh no, what a shame. Who could have ever predicted such a thing? Also, Gasly still needs to pit. He's on 48%. So we're really not even fighting Gasly too much here. Mick at still P12. Can we talk about how Mick has held off uh, Sergio Perez for this long? Did I jinx it? I think I did. I think I jinxed it. Ooh, I did not mean to leave Kevin on deploy there. Red Bull moves up. I might have jinxed Mick right there. I might have jinxed Mick. But if Mick can stay within DRS of the Red Bull, kind of get dragged along by Red Bull. Thoughts? I haven't really paid much attention to Mick so far. Science bits. Oh, so close. I really wanted that overtake. Let's make doing. Mick getting dragged along is what we like to see. We really want to hold on to... Oh, Mick, thinking about it. Oh, thinking about it. Oh, Mick's, Mick's causing him problems. Mick Schumacher overtaking a Red Bull. Who would have thought? Do we think about pitting Kevin here soon? Because everyone else ahead of us is pitted already. Do we think about pitting to mediums? I think we might actually think about pitting to mediums here. All right, Kev, box this lap, box this lap. Someone just absolutely sit one on, uh... How far behind is Mick? All right, 
Mick. All right, Mick, box this lap. Box this lap. Verstappen has a 98 point lead to clear in your Williams save. Oh my God. What an absolute shed. Glad the game is realistic. I mean, you have the most realistic one I've seen so far, so I understand. You know, I, I just thought, I was like, should I move Kevin off of attack? Should I move them off of attack, even though it'll make it to the end? Because attack seems to, for whatever reason, be our death sentence. And by God, we should have fucking done it. <sighs> we ran a strategy master class here, and Kevin King Magnuson comes in out of nowhere. And he goes from P10 to P17. Uh, Uh, we have to harvest him for a couple laps, but we have to keep him going. Mick, where are we at? Mick's P14. Anyone need to pay ahead of Mickelis Schumacher? Joe and Sonoda might try and go to the end. Alonso is definitely going to the end. <sighs> I don't know if the soft tires are going to make it at this point. Coming up. Mick is in a bit of a train right now. No, Mick is behind the train. Sorry, that's... Who's that? that? Oh, that is Mick. I was on Kevin. Never mind. So Mick is right on the edge. He did not get DRS. All right, Kevin, you've earned your right to try and make up for it, but you're going to be full attack until the, literally the end of the race. Oh, God. Dude, I'm so annoyed. Not even lap. We didn't even lap faster than a Williams on that lap. Oh my god. That makes a second and a half behind with Norris behind. Kevin's four seconds behind Alvon. These are the hard days. These are hard days to be in charge. Gotta make sure Mick can stay within DRS of the group ahead, so we will deploy as long as we possibly can. He's in DRS. Back to neutral, back to K-Mag. Deploy. I need to keep an eye on Mick and make sure he stays within that little DRS train. Mick Schumacher! Fastest lap! Go to Harvest. And Maxon lapping faster than the Williams. Good to know. I mean, at least we know we're capable of a fastest lap. That's pretty cool. A couple people ahead are going to have to pit. Probably Lando is probably going to have to pit. Or at minimum, his tires are going to fall off super hard. So there's opportunity to make this less worse, less bad, basically. We can't make it better, but we can make it less bad. Pass with an overtake. It overtakes Danielle. We love that. Now he's behind Akon. Heck yeah, he'll get DRS from that. K-Mag still pushing, which would now be on the McLaren, which we are lapping a second and a half faster than. There's still 13 laps remaining. Still plenty of time to make some stuff happen, but boy, is it going to be tough. God, we are, we are just on such a masterclass. P20 and P17 to P10 and... Safety car, safety car. car safety car. Oh. oh, big lock up there. No, it locks up. Apparently not that much. Oh wait, no, he was in front of us. Let's go. Oh, okay, Mag is so close to get to the end of this train. Okay, uh, 
I think you might like this game. You don't know. I, it's pretty good. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty good. You know, I've, I've enjoyed it so far. You know, we'll, we'll see in the end. But I think I, my initial impressions are pretty good. Get the move done, okay, man. Get the move done. Let's go. Mick is lapping faster than Joe did, at least on that lap. That's all we can ask for at this point. Dude, K-Mag is putting in a recovery drive for sure down this last uh, last few laps here, so. He'll, get, he'll be within DRS of the Ricardo. The softs are going to start falling off here relatively soon. Very, very nice, very, very nice. All right, Mick, P11, by the way. Mick, P11, by the way. Lapping faster than Joe, nine laps remaining. Wii U, Wii U. Very good, very nice. Joe Star is going to be dead by the end, 100%. 100%. I'm gonna leave them on harvest for like all lap, like and lap. We gotta, we gotta work out this ERS uh, as much as we can. Where are they? I'm gonna literally safety car, safe. I'm literally gonna do this until they get back to that corner. Someone's run wide. Of course, run wide. All right, let's take stock. Let's take stock. Mick, back down to P12. K Mag, P13, but three seconds off the pace as of right now. Fuel, fine. ERS, beautiful. Tires, absolutely on track. Other tire update. Joe on 43% on the mediums, Akon 52% on the softs. We are going to have a tire advantage over the two of them, as well as Gasly. That's why we saved up the ERS. Let's get both into the points. Lap times, lap times. Mick lapping faster than Akon by almost a second and almost almost over a full second to Joe. K-Mag lapping slower than Mick, but he had been fighting a lot. And so we really just need to see him. I'm going to put K-Mag on deploy. We need to see him really pick this up, especially if he's going to catch up to the end of this train. Mick, we are entirely fighting right now in DRS. We're going to send one down the inside on the main straight. Getting this move done. Get this DRS detection point. And we are going to get this move done. Up into overtake. Hopping on board. Akon does get DRS. Overtake mode not going to work. We are going to harvest deeply, thirstily, and we're going to move on. We are on deploy. We are thinking about making a move down this stretch. K-Mag, back down to two seconds. Back on harvest down to the chicane. Perfect. Back on to deploy. Mick makes the move. Perfect. Get up in there, Mick. Get up in there. Get up in there. Put yourself in there. K-Mag, back to harvest. Mick, still on deploy. We got to get this DRS detection. And let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. K-Mag's a 1.8. K-Mag, up onto Akon. Huge, huge harvest, huge harvest. Back on deploy. We got to put some separation in. We got to break this DRS train if we can. Akon, outside of DRS, getting hounded by Magnuson. Joe, still here. Tires will fall off. We're actually going to drop back down to neutral. Hop over to K-Mag here. Still P13, but within DRS of the Alpine. Great point. K-Mag breaks the DRS to Daniel behind. Daniel, out of the race. K-Mag, hounding Akon here. Needs to get this move done, though. Needs to get this move done, though. We're gonna be bopping this up into overtake mode. Akon, no DRS down the main straight. Should be the easiest move we made so far. Should be the easiest move we made, so thank you very much. Back into harvest, big go, big go. Back into deploy, gotta catch up. Gotta get DRS to Joe here. Joe's tires, falling off a cliff, 36%. We are looking good. How's Gasly looking to Mick? Hopping back over. Mix, six seconds, mix it, move six seconds. We may get one We, we may get one, one, one car in the points today, but considering where we started, that's been pretty good. 10 and 11, I will take that every single day of the week. Back over to K-Mag, still on deploy. Chasing down the Alpha. Oh, we're going to run out of DRS here down straight, but we are going to get DRS. Gonna be, ooh, new fast slap for K-Mag. We absolutely love that. Into Harvest. Into Harvest. Going to get a big gulp here. Who do we want in the points here? Who do we want in the points? Who needs a good bump? We can we can make this decision. We can actually decide this. Honestly, I say we let him fight. I say we let him fight. If we're going to get one card in the points, we're going to see who wants it more. Oh, well, we got to get Joe first. We got to get Joe. We got to get Joe. We're fine. Oh, Joe goes wide. Joe goes wide. Let's go. Let's go. We just had a call. All right. All right. K-Mag. K-Mag. You're the senior person here. That said, don't fight your goddamn teammate. Do not. We are chilling. Joe. Let's watch this. Watch this overtake. Now, watch this absolute goaded move. Uh. Joe cracks under the pressure. Can't handle it. Big gulps. Big gulps. Big, big manly gulps of ERS here. Oh, yeah, baby. Last lap. Last lap. K-Mag outside of DRS. Outside of DRS. Let's bump that back in. Joe's still behind. Joe's still very much in this. We have plenty of fuel, both cars for big, big pushes. I top of board with Kevin. Make sure we stay up here. 
Joe's gonna have actually save, 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 save. We're gonna need a little bit of DRS here, but we're gonna get we're gonna get DRS from Mick, which is absolutely huge and massive for us. We're gonna get a big old gulp, a big old gulp uh, ERS here from both cars. Neutral, neutral. Actually, no. Full deploy, full deploy, full deploy. Last lap, last lap. Full deploy. What a masterclass today! What a, an absolutely wild race from start to finish. But nonetheless, what a masterclass of a race from us. Haas is gonna be super happy with this. We are very, very happy. What could have been? You know, it could have been better, but nonetheless. Oh, and Joe is out. Joe's out. All right, we're, all right. Just don't bend it. Don't bend it on the last uh, on the last turn. Don't bend it on the last turn. Joe is giving up. Bring it home. Bring it home. Ten and eleven. P10, P P11. Done. App, what a race. Oh, Monza delivers every time. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Huge, huge result for the team. Massive, even. Massive, massive result. Absolutely goaded. Oh, what a race, man. He's living the dream. Exceptional work from Mick Schumer. That was, great. That was a great race by Mick there. He just, you know what? He deserves the point after Kevin spun out in P10 already. And and Kevin would have been in line for some really good points if he hadn't done that. So we're going to we're gonna give Mick his day in the sun here. Mick ran a fantastic race today. Love that for him. And they're in sixth place in the constructor standings at the end of this. Still P6, baby. That's all we need. Still P6. Oh, and, and, and now in, I feel like them putting Monza and Singapore back to back. They know what they're doing. We're going to go from absolutely speed tastic to, uh, to really lacking here. Oh, so here's our update on the uh, the drivers and constructors. Charles Leclerc currently winning. Getting that 18 points up today is going to be huge. Uh, Max getting that 25 is definitely keeping him in it. But, uh,. Yeah, Charles on 316. Carlos just behind, what is that math? 27 points behind. And then Max Verstappen, what is that? 52 points behind Carlos. So kind of, a, you know, it's not over over yet. It's not over over yet, but you know, we're going to, Ferrari, those 607 points coming out of Monza in the constructors, they are waltzing away with it. Haas solidifying our position here in uh, P6. Um, Alpine, or Alpha, though, is definitely uh, pulling away from us more than uh, we'd like to admit. But nonetheless, one point is one point. We're trying, we're putting in work over the McLaren team here. So what a result for us today. What a result. Not a great day in qualifying, but uh, Kevin actually gets a development point. Let's go. I'll gladly pay out Mick's $50,000 uh, bonus. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Let's go.